And he knows better than this because I've told him twice that we, this is a professional set. They are the Wood Enthusiasts. Hey Stephanie, can you guys have a conversation with Paul? Because this nonsense is getting too far. And I've been I've just been really frustrated, and tonight is not the night, okay? Just tonight is not the night. I'm just really frustrated right now. It's been taken too far. I don't know why you guys think that's funny. It's inappropriate if it's anything. Trying to dress up as a piece of pie in a sexy pie and trying to get me off guard is not funny. And I don't... It's inappropriate. And I don't think... I don't think Bernie's going to think it's funny when all of a sudden I'm on set and a piece of pie comes out in lingerie and she knows, she knows exactly how I feel about pie. And she'll probably find that very inappropriate. So many mosquitoes. <laughs> so many mosquitoes out here. You, you know what? I can't even do this scene. I can't even do this scene when, when Paul's supposed to be doing setup, and here he comes along with a piece of wood with lingerie and it's supposed to be funny. This is, we're, we're trying to be on a professional set and he's talking about sexy pine and we're trying to do naughty pine. And this doesn't even make sense. So you either tell him he's gonna go or I'm gonna go because it's one or the other. And I'm just gonna go. And he knows better than this because I've told him twice that we, this is a professional set. When we... So... And you, you know what? You can go tell Martha she can just rot. As far as I care, she can just rot as far as I care because I'm not even interested in any of it. I don't even, I can't even get out of this. I'm not even doing this scene. You can bring Gary in to do this scene because his best friend's Paul all of a sudden. I hope you guys are satisfied. Just go ahead. Hi, welcome to the fun facts segment of this episode. We're going to be talking about Naughty Pine. We really like Naughty Pine because of all the knots that are in them. A texture and contour to furniture. It it's easy to work with. <sighs> Hi. So we're gonna do uh, fun facts about the pine, uh, the naughty pine in particular. Hope you guys enjoyed that. See if I care. I'll just see if I care if I want to be up at night doing these film. I don't these like things. being on film. See if I well, you know what? If you would get rid of Paul that I wouldn't have any of these issues because he's playing these nonsense things trying to dress up pine when we're trying to be on a professional set. Paul learned this in school, you didn't. Oh, Paul went to school my backside. Mm -hmm. I've seen his degree and you know what? I printed off one better water color printer and I have a color printer at home. We really like Naughty Pine uh, because of all the knots. I hope you guys like that a lot better than the one I did because it would have been better. But if you guys are going to pull this bullshit, Okay. Rub fresh and you'll feel real good And rub slow just like you know you should Just get a little grit and get a little wood And rub fresh just like you know you should Hello there. <clears throat> a viewer has sent this uh, piece of beautiful wood to me and it's clearly without the smell, I can tell it is a naughty pine, the knot. But let's dive a little deeper, shall we? I'm getting a... Yeah, that's certainly a Sumatran pine, but I'm getting a very... Yeah, I'm getting a very strong uh, scent that it's about one or two degrees south of the equator. Ooh. No, definitely one degree south of the equator. Sweet sassy molasses. Yeah. 
Sniff that lumber, Gary. Sniff it. Are you guys ready? You ready for me to film? Any more funny pranks? Well, I'm just going to read it because I, I haven't spent any time trying to get my lines done because you guys are playing all these stupid pranks. And I'm not going to stay up all night doing this, so I'm just going to read my lines. And you, and you guys can play with the sound and edit it all you want later. Because this is ridiculous. Here's the fun fact for you. Did you know Mountain Dew was originally... Fun facts! F-U-X-Facts! You think you know, but you don't know. Fun facts! F-U-X-Facts! Wouldn't you like to know the things? Fun facts! F-U-X-Facts! You think you know, but you don't know. Fun facts! F-U-X-Facts! Wouldn't you like to know all things about wood? Fun Facts! Hi. For my Fun Facts segment, I've got a fun fact for you. Did you know Mountain Dew was originally designed as, as a chaser for whiskey? It was originally named Naughty Pine Liqueur because there's, it, was, it was invented by a couple of guys uh, that have fr pretty funny names, Barney and Allie Hartman. But trying to make fun of guys' names isn't funny. You think, you think Gary hasn't had his name, a name like that? A, a name like Gary Gilbert? And you guys try to think of this, it's funny? There's just a couple guys that wanted to get their whiskey on and they couldn't find a good chaser, so they developed Mountain Dew. And now we have the, the product called Mountain Dew Soda Pop. And that's, that actually is a good fact. That's one I like, and that's one that you guys actually got hit on. Hello, fun fact for you. The term softwood and hardwood describes the type of leaves, seeds, and structure of the wood, and not necessarily the type of wood. One second. So next time you uh, pick up a piece of wood and you go, that's heavy, and you say, oh, it must be a hardwood. It might not be a hardwood. It might be, in fact, a softwood. Uh, hey guys, just so glad that you're, you know, including me to do one of these segments. Really feel like our friendship is clicking. So, and I uh, got to be a little bit quiet over at George's place, my uh, old neighbor, and uh, just giving his deck just a good watering, making sure that it's that it's hydrated. I noticed he doesn't he doesn't water his deck. It, it did rain a little bit today, but uh, but yeah, just wanted to make sure. Fun fact about Naughty Pine: Naughty Pine paneling in houses was in its golden age between 1946 and 1963. So that's when everyone was going nuts for Naughty Pine in their houses. And uh, so, yeah, so that's a really fun, fun fact. But yeah, I just wanna really make sure you get all the areas of the deck. Keep it hydrated, keep it moist, then these decks will last you a lifetime. Uh-oh, I think George, George might. Oh, George. All right. Well, this is this is Glen Clutterbuck for wood enthusiasts. Um, yeah, I know his kids are. Yeah, his kids are still sleeping. But uh... we asked you to do set design the first time, and you're going to put lingerie on a piece of wood. <laughs> and you're going to try to call that naughty pine. That's not funny. We're trying to be a professional set here, and if you can't get on board, then I know that I've got Gary's back, and he'll tell you that you need you need either you need to either smarten up or get that <laughs> off the scene. Hot and spicy salsa, hot and spicy salsa, what makes my mild salsa turn hot but can't take? Hot and saucy salsa, hot and spicy salsa. Uh. Hi, this is Larry Woodstone. Thank you for joining us for this segment of Hot but Conte. A segment where we talk about what takes my mild salsa and turns it into a hot conte. This week I have joining with me my daughter. So my real issue is, here I am watching a, a movie with my kids. Why would they call something Bridge to Terabithia and never talk about a bridge? They never talked about what type of wood they use. 
and they certainly never had any, they certainly didn't talk about construction. So here I am wasting my time watching these movies with these kids, and I'm wasting all my time because it's called Bridge to Terabithia, and there's no bridge in it. And that really makes me hop a content because this is ridiculous. And I think that's pretty ridiculous. You can't go and false advertise a movie about a bridge and there's never going to be anything about a bridge on it. And I think that's stupid. And then you find out halfway through the movie some kid dies. That's not a kid's movie. That's a stupid thing to do. The movie was called Bridge to Terabithia and they didn't discuss a bridge. And that's what makes my my sauce hop conte. <coughs> well, looks like a good sandwich. Paul, next time, just run it by me before you do a, a prank like that. Um, you know, it's not appropriate what you're doing, and um, I can only back you up so much. But Larry is dead on with this, so let's just keep it appropriate, okay? Mm -hmm.